Alright guys, before I get into today's video on should you switch to PC, hear me out. For those of you wanting the emblem codes, thank you for 10,000 subscribers. So I'm going to be putting those codes. It's going to be three codes. So somewhere throughout this video, keep your eyes peeled. I'm going to put them in a different font. I'm going to put them in a different color. They, 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 you will be able to see them. They're going to be somewhere on screen. I'm not going to say when. But if you do get the code, let me know down in the comment section so people aren't looking for that or plugging in the same code. So good luck to everybody. Again, thank you for 10,000 subs. Getting into it, guys. Should you switch to PC with shadow keep on its way cross save is going to be a thing and for those of you out there playing ps4 xbox one now is your time to switch over to stadia now is your time to switch over to pc and i will have my pros and cons in this video and i will give my honest opinion at the very end on should you switch but we're going to go over a couple things so before shadow keep if this is the beginning of forsaken and you asked me brave should i switch to pc i would have ultimately told you no because there's a lot of grinding to do, especially, you know, for those out there who wanted to get a good mind bender. Maybe on PS4 you had the godly mind bender. If you're starting from scratch, that's something you would not want to grind. It's something that's going to be real tedious, especially if there's no cheeses anymore. Uh, grinding all the forges all over again. Maybe you want an awesome uh, kindled orchard. You're going to have to grind all the forges again. So stuff like that, no. But with Shadow Keep, guys, cross save is happening, meaning you can transfer your character and all its items over to a new platform. Not saying that you can't go back to the old platform. So for those of you who want to main two platforms, maybe you want to play PC and when all your buddies are on PS4, you can just switch over. That's that's a possibility too. Because I will be maining uh, PC and switching over to PS4 and Xbox One on the weekends to help people out. But getting into it, guys, cross save. With cross save happening, should you switch to PC? So one of the awesome things about PC, guys, is going to be the FOV slider. It's kind of ultimately... It's hard to explain to somebody who's been on PS4 or console. It was hard to, for me to realize it in the beginning, but it's like saying you're throwing on that fish lens, you know, the fish eye, where you literally can see, like, how do I say it? It's like driving down the street, for those of you who do drive cars, and you're, you have your basic lights on. You can see a decent amount, but it's when you click on your high beams, you literally feel you can see all the way. Like, it literally feels like it's just extended left and right. So that's kind of what it is. It's like throwing your high beams on on a car. It's amazing. It makes a huge difference. What makes people see, like, oh, when you see PC gameplay, people are flying. You're seeing warlocks just going out there flying. Uh, movement looks so much faster. When pe players are running, it looks like they're just, just sprinting as opposed to console. kind of looks a little more sluggish. Um, the next thing, guys, is going to be frames. Now, with console, you are stuck at 30 frames. Sadly, maybe Destiny 3 might be different. PS5 or Xbox Scorpio, Man Bear Pig, whatever it's going to be. You know, maybe that's going to be different to 60 frames. But on PC, guys, you are literally uncapped to whatever frames your hardware can push out. Uh, normally, I play mine capped at 144, just like my monitor. If you guys haven't seen my PC settings video, go check that out. But ultimately, you can get a very good, you know, high amount of frames which make a huge difference makes the game feel and run smoothly the next thing is going to be faster ui have you ever, ever had it when you're playing a crucible match and you're like you know what i put i had the wrong gun on i had the wrong shotgun shotgun on or it's like you know what i need to switch to a sniper against this team and when you switch to that weapon you click the menu and it takes literally like forever to get there it's loading loading and loading and loading uh it's the ps4 xbox one hardware it can't really load it as fast uh, I know they made some changes to it before, but it's not as fast as PC. PC, you literally can click the menu, switch your weapon, and go back in, back into the match uh, within a few seconds. It's it's super fast. Uh, loading into different zones, loading into the tower, uh, pulling up your map directory, your pursuits, all that stuff loads extremely fast on PC. That's a huge benefit. The next thing, guys, is going to be team chat and clan chat. So for those of you who are on Xbox One, I'm sure you've utilized Discord. Discord is awesome, guys. Discord is is huge like the saving grace for you know uh, xbox one and pc when i was on ps4 i'm not a huge fan of the ps4 um, chat the chat was very I, obnoxious I, I wasn't i wasn't a fan of it overall uh, when i switched over to pc one of my buddies said get discord i jumped on discord and it's just it's a whole different world guys discord is very easy to use user friendly and it sounds great uh the next one guys is going to be clan chat for those of you in a big clan I'm not sure how you guys do it on console. Uh, if you, you know, hey, I'm gonna message up my clan, see who wants to run threes, maybe some, you know, some sweats, anything like that. Then ultimately, you would have to message everybody or message giant group chat that you're in. Everybody gets the message. But with clan chat, it's just like a. Uh, if you notice on PC players, they have that little box on the right side. Well, that little box opens up, and you can switch over to your clan chat, and you can chat with everybody in your clan. Hey, who wants to do the raid right now? And that's a message that your entire clan will get. Uh, the next one, guys, is going to be LFG. Now, LFG for PS4 was complete garbage. 
at least in my opinion, LFG on PS4 was so complicated. You would have to go into the app, find a team, load back to your PS4, start punching in numbers, names, everything like that, find a message them, hey, do you still need one? No, you wasted a lot of time. It was a lot of time wasted. Now with PC, guys, there's a huge Destiny 2 LFG. I'm pretty sure everybody on PC is part of it. Uh, I'm probably going to link it down in the description below. But right there, guys, you literally can see messages coming in real quick. I, I need one, whoever wants to jump up with me on P, uh, the dude of Crown of Sorrow. You just jump in their chat, ask them, no, you don't need one, you're out. Within seconds, you can go into multiple requests. It's so much faster. That's actually how I got my Crown of Sorrow, uh, Crown of Sorrow raid completed within the first week. Um, moving over to weapons. There are a lot of unusable weapons on console. It's it would be it would be it would be a lie if I told you that every weapon was viable on console. When it's not, that's not the case. You will have to fight recoil a lot more on console if it comes to using the last word. If it comes to using any hand cannon, uh, pulse rifles, a lot of these weapons, guys, require a lot of recoil control on console, and that's ultimately due to the FOV. Now, with PC with a larger FOV, you won't notice that recoil as bad, especially if you are using a controller. That's another thing, guys. If you're using a controller on PC, which you can, you don't have to switch to mouse and keyboard, you will notice the benefits. You literally reap the same benefits as a console, as a mouse and keyboard player. So, getting to it, guys, another one, you don't have to use these weapons. You don't have to use the Not Forgotten or 180s on, on PC because weapons play differently uh, to the point to where recoil control is easier. You literally can use any weapon on any platform, but it's a lot easier on PC because of the FOV. Uh, mouse and keyboard, you don't have to play mouse and keyboard. For those of you scared going brave, I don't want to play mouse and keyboard. I've been a controller user for years. You don't have to play mouse and keyboard. I myself were, were played controller for 20 years. And when I switched over to the PC, I only said, you know what? I'm going to switch to mouse and keyboard only just to make the game play just a tad bit better movement everything like that so i do recommend if you are switching try mouse and keyboard out do some strikes do stuff like that and play with mouse and keyboard but when it comes to you know ultimately your decision you don't have to play mouse and keyboard you can play controller uh the next one guys we're gonna get into some, to some cons price for hardware hardware is very expensive uh, i mentioned in my pc settings video if you guys want hardware for this pc that you want to build maybe you're going to build one maybe you're looking for a few parts i can post a a uh, pc part picker description below and for those of you who want to switch uh, you can ultimately go in there find some parts that you like and you know pull from there the next one guys is going to be your friends for those of you who aren't switching with all your friends maybe you're used to playing with the same group of five people if they are not making the switch, it's going to suck because you will be on PC like me. When I first switched to PC, I was on PC alone and it was kind of uh, it was kind of meh. Didn't have many friends. Now I have a lot of friends on PC, which is freaking awesome. Uh, do I miss playing with my PS4 friends? Yeah, all the time. So I would recommend if you have friends switching with you, that's great. If not, be prepared to be a little lonely the first couple of weeks. Uh, join a clan, any clan that invites you. Start making friends through strikes. Start making friends through... Uh, crucible matches that's something i can recommend another con guys is going to be desk and space now i know some people who play mouse and uh, pc and they still play it like it's ps4 they literally have it connected to the winter tvs now i'm not one to connect a pc to my tv i'm not i played a monitor since d1 but if you do do it, it it happens you can do it there's no shame in that um the next thing is you know with console you can literally hook it up to your living room and just play there you know have fun with your friends PC requires a little bit more space with mouse and keyboard, you know, monitors on your desk, everything like that, a mat, uh, a mouse pad for your mouse and keyboard. So you will need a little bit more desk space. And the last one, guys, uh, I mentioned earlier, your player base is a tad bit smaller. This one is true, guys. You do see a smaller player base. You'll start seeing recognizing names all the time, depending on what, you know, what time you play. Oh, that's so-and-so from that clan. Now, now I remember them. So you'll notice that a lot more. It's no... Not problem with that, especially with PC being, you know, the game being free, you will see a lot more players. But PS4 and Xbox One will always have the larger player base. Always. Uh, but I do know a lot of people switching over to PC. A lot of YouTube creators, content creators out there switching to PC. A lot of my friends who were on console uh, have ultimately, they all made the switch. So the final question is, should you switch? I laid out a couple things, and in my honest opinion, for those of you out there who just want my opinion on should you switch, if you can afford the hardware and you want to play Destiny at its best, I would recommend to switch. I would recommend to switch to PC and, you know, 
play this game that I can ultimately say that if it wasn't for PC, I probably wouldn't be playing Destiny anymore. It is a very good game, and ultimately, PC made it a whole lot better. So, again, if you can afford the hardware, there's no no shame in playing two different platforms like I will be doing. So other than guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully I answered some questions for some of you out there. Uh, if you guys are looking for my PC settings video, I'm going to link that in the description. Uh, ultimately, let you know what settings I use on PC. So other than guys, you have a great day. Thanks for watching the video. And for those of you who found the codes, congrats. Congrats. I'm going to start doing this more often. Put some more codes into the, uh, the good old videos. Other than that, guys, you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, did you enjoy the video? Click right there for a random video. Click right there for my latest video. Stay up to date with BraveX Hero. If you haven't followed me on Twitch, I recommend it. Go do it right now. Twitch.tv slash BraveX Hero. New to the channel? Subscribe button right there. Click it. Do it. Do it now. I'll see you guys in the next video.